What's up everybody, we are Diana and Phil and in this video we're gonna compare German movie titles to the original English ones. So it's winter right now and naturally we've been watching a lot more movies than normally. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> um, we were talking about some of the differences between the German and the English ones and some of them are pretty interesting and some are pretty funny. So we wanted to share those. So what we're gonna do, I'm gonna read the German movie title first and see if you have an idea. Then I'm gonna directly translate it into English, so the German title in English words. Then I'm gonna show you the German movie poster. Okay. And then in the end, the English one. Okay. All right, let's just get right into it. And the first German title is Voll auf die Nüsse. Fall off the nuts? Yes, Voll auf die Nüsse. Voll auf die Nüsse. So you understand a little bit? Yeah, I don't know a single movie that's talking about Fall off yeah. the Nuts. <laughs> so the, the direct translation would be straight into the balls. Straight in the balls. <laughs> what? You say that, right? If somebody throws a football, it's just straight in the balls. That's ah, the saying. Is Fall it a football Nüsse. movie? Like, it's a comedy. Uh, straight into the balls? Straight in the balls. Straight in the balls. I have no idea. I don't know. It's a, it's a comedy with Ben Stiller. Okay, I'm going to show you the... The poster, Ben Stiller, Vince Vaughn. Ah, dodgeball. 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 Yeah. <laughs> oh, that's. I mean, that. I feel like that kind of makes sense. It, you have to really think about it, though. Yeah. It's a comedy, so it has a weird title. It makes it's funny. <laughs> uh, dodgeball in German is Völkerball. Völker? Völkerball. I'm pretty sure. A funny thing, I just noticed that looking at the movie poster, there's that guy, that younger guy in the middle. Yeah. Like, yeah, like had, straight. Yeah, had a balls. ball just straight in the balls. So I don't know if it's coming from there. Is dodgeball a popular sport in Germany? Like we pe we play it in elementary and high school PE exactly. classes all the time, but I feel like yeah, not us too. Any. All right, you know that movie, right? Yeah. So oh, I'm, that was a good one. I'm trying to start off with movies that you probably know. Okay. And we have a couple of evergreens in there though later. I'm nervous. <laughs> okay, second movie you might get the German word, Männer trip. Man trip. Men trip. Yeah, direct translation, men's trip. Men's trip. Okay. Men's trip. I feel like there's a lot of men's trip. Like road trip? Men's trip? Yeah, something like that. They do a road trip. It's a comedy, another comedy. Uh, I feel like this is like one of the college level teen movies that I can't remember. The movie title in English is so different. Really? When I heard that for the first time, I was like, what movie is that? Oh. So it's with uh, Jonah Hill. Yeah, I know. And him. Russell Brand. Have I seen this? And they go on a trip in a car together, I think. I Dude, can't really remember I think, a lot of uh, what is it? Forgetting Sarah Marshall is the last one I remember them in together. Yeah, we just watched that, but it's not, <laughs> it's not that movie. I know. Oh, although Jonah Hill was in that too. Yeah, that's what I'm that's, saying. Ah, They're yeah, both yeah, of them yeah, were yeah. together in that. Okay. That's the German movie poster. I don't, I don't, I don't know that. Meta Trip. Meta Trip. I the don't. The title is so different. It is. Get him to the Greek. Ah, get him to the Greek. Yeah, I've heard of it. I've never seen it. Get him to the Greek. No. You never saw that? No, I didn't see it. Why is it get That's him to the Greek? So is it like different. a Greek family? I don't know. I think uh, they I have think... to go to some wedding or something in the movie. Well, men a trip? So it's men's trip? Get yeah. him to the Greek. That's very I, I, different. <laughs> I think Russell Brand is kind of famous in that movie and Jonah Hill is hired to okay. grab him and get him to this wedding or something oh, because okay. he's very unreliable. Yeah, men, Männer trip, men's trip, German, <laughs> we know it as that. Hearing the get him to the Greek title for the first time, that was very different. That's too. very different, that's pretty funny. Yeah, with these I think, what does the translation company, whatever, what do they think? Like, how, yeah. what do we name it in Germany? Yeah, what's like marketable? Oh, I love seeing movie titles in English and then another language and directly translating it. It's just so bizarre. <laughs> For the next one, we go a little bit back in time. It's a classic. Okay. I am not sure if you've seen that, but everybody knows about that movie. Okay. I'm thinking classics. It's called Der Weiße Hai. Der Weiße Hai? Yeah. Der Weiße, was, what was it? It's a color. Oh, the white hai? Yeah. The white mountain? Hai, <laughs> hai, <laughs> H-A-I in German A -I. is a uh, big fish. The white salmon, the white shark, the white whale. Yeah, yeah. The white Jaws! Shark. Yes! Ah! Woo. Woo! This is a fun game. <laughs> Jaws in uh, German is der weiße Hai, the white shark or the great ah, white shark. Great white shark. And now uh, I'm going to show you the movie poster here. It looks like that. I mean, from that you probably. Yeah, that's the get classic it, right? scene at the beginning when she's swimming into the ocean. Oh. Jaws! We never hear about that in Germany. Dun. 
Yeah, Dun. it's such a, an iconic name for us, the white shark. Really? Yeah. That's so funny. You and say nobody Jaws? knows Jaws. If you go to any Jaws and say, hey, do you know the movie Jaws? Nobody will get it. They're like, what? That's what movie is so that? funny. Like, we make jokes that if you're at the <clears throat> beach, you're to watch out for Jaws. We do that all the time, too. <laughs> the because it's from the white shark. <laughs> the white shark. Vice High? Yeah. The Vice High? High as shark, yeah. Ah. H A I, though. All right. I like that one. I'm gonna yeah. use that now when we're at the beach. Just ah, screaming. You're better at getting the German titles already than I thought. It's good. <laughs> uh, Duolingo app. <laughs> okay, the next one is another hot one. Um, okay. You definitely know that movie. In German, it's called Meine Braut, Ihr Vater und Ich. Ah, uh, yeah. Meine Braut, uh, the bride, my bride, Ihr Vater, like a uh, father-in-law, father and the bride. My bride, your father, and me. Yeah. And ish. So it's like my bride, her dad, and I. I and I. Which movie <laughs> could that be? It's another comedy. Father and the bride. No. Ah, uh, meet the parents. Yes. Ah, yes. Woo. Okay. Not yeah. bad. Oh, that's a good one. Uh, I like that. And I, when I looked that up, I thought it's called Meet the Fuckers. Or is that the second one or something? Oh, is that what it's called? No, it's called Meet the Parents. Because they always call him Fokker. Co connect, co correct us if we're wrong. Yeah. But uh, yeah, meet the parents. Oh. And for to us, that movie is uh, My Bride, Her Father, and I. It's a long title and it's very. It's so long. It's very different. Yeah. Like, I feel like meet the parents is like a, a phrase you would use every day. Like, I'm going to go meet the parents. So that's why it was a marketable movie title, too. Yeah. And I think the second one, when they're married, yeah. or the third one, I don't know which one it is, is called something like. Uh, my wife, my parents-in-law, and I. It's like they, they keep, keep the that. Consistent. They keep that. It's just married now instead of uh, just bride. Ah, uh, interesting. It's such a different name. That's but, so weird. But you got that. It's yeah. interesting. So, hey, next one, very different category. Okay. You might get that. I talked about that before a couple of times. Oh God. In German, this movie is called Der Blutige Pfad Gottes. Der Blutige Pfad. Pfad. Goddess. Goddess. Yeah. The blood path goddess? Uh, goddess, it's a grammar thing. It's the God's bloody path or the bloody path of God is the direct translation. Should I know this? It's one of my all time favorite movies. It's a violent movie. It's FSK 18 and up. Such a bad girlfriend. I don't know. <laughs> I think it's from 1999. And before it came out in the German movie theaters, it was banned. From the public it was only available under the not illegally but you have to be 18 and you have to ask for it it was not allowed to be displayed on anything because there was a shooting at a school in america right before the release and that movie was deemed to be enticing for like justice through violence ah. but it's a crazy movie we watched it like a year ago we watched oh my goodness you might not remember the name actually but Okay, I got the one from the second movie because the first one I couldn't find the the relating one. So that's the Der Blutige Pfad Gottes. Ah, um, the one with the guy from Walking Dead. What is it called? Daryl. <laughs> yeah. Norman Reedus. Yeah, Norman Reedus ah, is in it. You talk about this all the time. I can't remember the name. Yeah, place in Boston. Yeah, I in know. In the docks. I know. The docks I know. I remember the whole movie right the now. Boondocks. Boondocks. Boondock Saints. Yeah, the Boondock Saints. Oh. The Boondock Saints. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, awesome movie, I not failed. a movie for kids. You though. talk about this all the time. I think you've talked about this in multiple videos too. Okay, next one, different genre. Nie wieder sex mit der ex. Nie, what is nie? It's not sex Never. with their ex. Never sex with your ex. Yeah, it's, all, it's like translate no more sex with your ex. Okay, something about ex-girlfriends. Ex yeah, yeah. Uh, I have no idea. <laughs> you, you really like that movie. It's another comedy. No more sex with the ex. The ex is in that movie all the time. Huh? Friends with benefits? No strings attached? Those are like the, the romantic comedy right. it, thing? It's in that... Forgetting Sarah Marshall? Yes. We just talked about it. Yeah. Oh. We just watched that two weeks ago or That's something so like that. That's so different. And dude, I, I watched it for the second or third time. I think it's one of the best comedies over the last it's decade. It's so funny. Jason Segel is awesome. Russell Brand is super funny. Yeah, uh, there's goofy humor, good. there's witty yeah. humor, it's very good. So, I don't think we could ever have in at least the US sex as a movie title. It's like not yeah. allowed, right? It's inappropriate, so we couldn't have that. Uh, I just think like 
if you are the company that's whatever film industry person who's responsible for translating a movie title for getting Sarah, Sarah Marshall and you go that doesn't work in Germany or, or first yeah. of all you have to decide that doesn't work here how do you come up with another name I that don't, sticks like that's so literal like <laughs> the title is so literal to the movie it's yeah. so weird I wonder what the marketing thought is when they create these new names it's yeah. so interesting no more sex with the ex not forgetting Sarah Marshall Okay, before we do the next one, I want to do a quick reminder of our new Patreon page. We launched a Patreon page a couple weeks ago. It's patreon.com slash Deanna and Phil. Yes. And if you want to, you can check it out. If you want to, you can support us there. We have different levels for support and with different benefits that come with it. Yes. So we wanted to do our monthly shout out to our family level Patreons and our soulmate Patreon. Ricky, Soulmate Patreon, thank you so much. The one and only right now. <laughs> we really appreciate it. And the family member Patreons get a shout out too. It's Rudy Zarzov, Mireya Rivera. Marcus Ottisman and Tony Sanchez. Thanks for the support. If you want a shout out too or just support us, would be amazing of you. Just check out our Patreon page. Yes. All right, next movie title. This is going to be a good one. This is so different. The German title is Chihiro's Reise ins Zauberland. Chihiro's? Reise. Reise. Ins Zauberland. Chihiro. I feel like spirited away. I know the name. Yes, the name <laughs> gave it away. So it's like Chihiro's journey into the Wonderland. Ah, oh, Wonderland. I was like Zauberland, something land. Or Magic Land, ah. yeah. One of the best anime movies of all time. My favorite. I love it. I've seen it over... 50 times. I'm dead serious. Like it's the only movie on my laptop that I'll watch in yeah. an airplane. These Japanese anime movies are still so underrated Same in the US thing. and worldwide. They're freaking awesome. Although I think it's it's, it's in the top five, but really? I have a couple. I love a lot of the Miyazaki films. They're just yeah. oh, so good. But that's interesting. I like the difference in the I title. I like Princess Mononoke a little better. Really? And I think my favorite is Sword of the Stranger. Mm -hmm. Anyway, Spirited Away. Chihiro's journey to the Wonderland. Yeah, uh, I like it. The magic it's fitting. Land. That one kind of makes sense. Spirited yeah. away. It's very yeah. hard to translate. I think spirited away is such a uh, yeah. It's such a term you have to interpret. Yeah. Um, it just persuades a feeling. Yeah, yeah. That's... So it's very, very hard to translate. So they came out with that long ass name yeah. there. <laughs> so good, and people don't know about it. Mm -hmm. Watch it. Watch it. To my laptop can you tell the stickers <laughs> okay the next one is gonna be super hot um it's a strange movie and i think it might be one of these cases that might be more famous in germany or europe than in the us we've come the, across so many the german title is die ritter der kokosnuss the ritter of the coconut the yeah ritter ritter getting rid of british um, sport <laughs> knights ah the knights of the coconut the knights of the coconut yeah i've no idea is it a comedy that's a comedy from the 70s oh, okay yeah it's Way a very <laughs> iconic movie you might have heard the english title you might have not i'm going to show you the movie poster and i saw that for the first time today i never <laughs> never saw that okay okay it's it's the it's half of the titles on there in english die ritter der kokosnuss knights of the coconut yeah i have no idea monty python and the holy grail Yes. Oh, God. Monty, Monty, Python, Monty Python and the Holy Grail oh. is the English title. Yeah, I've never And the seen German it. Was, one is Knights of the Coconut. So both of them are kind of funky, right? Yeah. I've heard of it, but I don't think it's I've It's from seen 75. It. I have a strong feeling if you watch it now, it's... Um, cringe. It's gonna be a little cringe. <laughs> That's always the case, though, with old comedies, yeah. right? They were cr they're cringe now. Okay, next one is uh, it's easier, but it's um, it's very close to the original title though. It's a Christmas movie. Okay. And the title is Kevin Allein zu Haus. Oh, Home Alone. Kevin. Oh, Kevin. Kevin. Yeah, if, if the name is in there, Kevin. it gives it away. Yeah, right? especially since you told me about the Christmas movie, but I think I would have got it Alone in House. The funny thing is though, so the German title is basically Kevin Alone at Home. Yeah. They just add the name. Why? Like, to instead, of, instead of saying home alone, like a line to house, they say Kevin. Uh, Kevin think, is home uh, yeah, alone. Yeah, it's weird. Maybe it's because is Kevin a popular German name? Yeah, it's kind of a popular name. Oh, okay. But I always think of the movie Up with Kevin, the bird. Kevin? I want to throw one in here the other way around. A okay. German movie production. But I thought the name was super funny. I looked it up and the 
English title is Suck Me Shakespeare. Huh? Suck Me Shakespeare. And of course you don't know the German one. No. The German title is F.U. Goethe. F.U. Goethe, yeah. suck, F me, suck Me Shakespeare? It's a famous German movie, it's a comedy. I just saw that they have an English translation for that movie, which is Suck Me Shakespeare, which is so funny. I wonder if it's popular or just I haven't heard of it. No, I'm pretty sure it's not <laughs> popular outside of Germany. All right, quick one next, which is pretty short title, but it's a little different. Stirb langsam. I think it's hard. Stirb langsam? It means die slowly. Morbid. <laughs> yeah, die slowly. Is it a comedy? No. Oh. It's one of the all-time pioneers of the action movie cinema. John McClane in the Nakatomi Plaza at Christmas time. I don't know. Now I've got a machine gun. Ho, ho, ho. Die Hard? Die Hard, ah, exactly. Okay. <laughs> I know that you haven't watched that. She no. has never seen Die Hard. So Sorry. I'll show you the German title here. Wow, look at Bruce wow. Willis's face. Like He made the wife beater popular in the 80s again <laughs> because he's wearing a white wife beater in that movie I, and it gets blood stained I think and dirt. I think politically correct is not calling it that anymore. We have to call it tank top or something. All right, t tank top then. <laughs> Stirb langsam. langsam. So die hard and German becomes die slowly. <laughs> oh, we have a couple more. This one is a stupid one. I'm just not gonna say the, the first part. Ha 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 ha! Spion in geheimer Missionarstellung. Ha 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 ha! <laughs> yeah, that's a name, it gives away. So. Uh, say it again. Spion. Spion. In geheimer Missionarstellung. Missionarstellung? Yeah, any idea what that mean? What any of those mean? No. It basically means spy in secret missionary position. Mission Impossible? Didn't missionary tell. position? Yeah, missionary position. Is this a an, uh, sexual thing? Oh, Austin Powers. Yeah, Austin yeah. Powers on there, then you know. And the English title is The Spy Who Shagged Me. Ah, oh, yeah. That's such a British title. Shag. Hey. Shag. She shagged him. Shagged him last night. She shagged him last night, eh? That's great, yeah. <laughs> so The Spy Who Shagged Me in German becomes Spy in Secret Missionary Position. That's so literal. <laughs> what position? Missionary position. Yeah. <laughs> okay, next one. This one is interesting. The German title is Vajana, das Paradies hat einen Haken. Das Paradies has eine Haken? Means Vajana, the paradise has a snack. Yeah, I got the hook. paradise. Yeah, Vajana is the, the name of the main person in that movie. I don't think I've seen I it. have not watched that movie. I know you have watched that movie. I have? Oh yeah. Vajana? Vajana. If you get that <laughs> visual, you'll be surprised. I am not familiar with this. Apple nonsense here with the... <laughs> okay, there's Vajana. Oh, Moana! <laughs> Moana. That's not how you spell Moana. In Vajana. German, they just thought, how would we're you not going with Moana, name? we're going with Vajana. You referenced that movie so often, I was like, so many what times. is Moana? Especially when we're in like Thailand and Bali, I was like, Moana, edge of the water. And you're like, what? <laughs> What's Moana? Because they call it Vajana. Just kick the camera. Either way, I have not seen it. I don't know what Vi Vajana is. Vajana isn't even a thing. See, that's one I don't get. I don't understand why you decided to change the name. Does Moana sound like something other in German? I don't know. Are those that those letters aren't hard to say in German either? Moana. I was thinking Vajana. like maybe it's the pronunciation. Almost easier than the Vajana. Yeah, thing. yeah, Vajan, Vajana. Moana. Moana. I don't know. It's a good they movie. Just changed the name and added a. The paradise has a snack, a hook. Yeah. Okay, one more uh, comedy. The Ice Prinzen. Ah, Frozen. The ice You're on the right path there. What does Ice Prinzen mean? Ice Prince. Yeah. The Prinzen rule. Prince. The Ice Princess. Yeah. Two, like two princes. Princess. Two princes, like the Ice Princess. Yeah, nothing to do with the song. Why would you say that? I just remembered that song because I said two princes. Princes? The Ice Princess. It's a spot movie. Ah, uh, Blades of Glory. Blades of Glory. <laughs> <laughs> Such a different name. There they are. Oh my the Ice gosh. Princess. That's Will so Ferrell cool. and John Heater are the Ice Princess. The Ice Princess. So Blades of Glory in America becomes the Ice Princess 
in Germany. Makes sense though. It's like you can get it. Yeah. How do you blades of glory? The it's just a Schlittschuhe des Grooms. I don't know. <laughs> the... Hey, two movies which I'm pretty sure you haven't seen, but they are very well known around the world. At least the titles. I think I have not seen either one of them. Are you familiar with Western movies from like the 60s? Me? No. Yeah. No. <laughs> but one of the most iconic movie names for a German is Spiel mir das Lied vom Tod. Spiel something from dead. Spiel it means me play me a song about Ach, death. Spiel. Play me a song. I don't know. Are you just flexing because you can whistle and I can't? That's the right melody, right? From that movie. It means something bad happening. The gunslinger is entering the town. I have no idea. I was afraid this Poster. would happen. So many movies I don't know. I don't think I've ever watched it fully. That's the... it's old. I that, think this is from the 60s. That gives nothing away. Charles Bronson. Someone drew. Spiel mir das Lied vom Tod. Super famous in English. Once Upon a Time in the West. Yeah. Is that a super famous movie in the US? It probably is. I just don't know I would about assume it. so. I think it's a little <clears throat> earlier than my time. The translation is just very different. Once Upon a Time in the West becomes Play Me a Song About Death. Oh. And if you talk to any middle-aged person in Germany, they know Play Me a thong, Song About... Play Me a Thong. <laughs> play, play Me a Song Play Me a Song About <laughs> Death. Like, and they know this melody. I'm horrible at Your it. dad has done that! Yeah, probably. Oh my goodness, He's yeah. also a fan of the Western movies. Ah, yeah. So, so Once Upon a Time in the West, play me a song about death. Very different. Yeah. I don't know who came up with that, but that title in German is so well known. Interesting. It's so well known. I think it might be even better than the original title. Yeah, I like it. It's because this is yeah. just feels like old Once Upon a Time. And it goes with the whistling melody. Yeah, whatever. that's Okay, cool. same genre, same thing. Not Second good. movie from that period of western movies zwei glorreiche halunken two glory Riss? halunken glorious halunken yeah two glorious scoundrels or rascals uh, rascals halunken very different from the title that's why i included it clint eastwood that is an iconic movie poster no it looks like an over contrast picture it is i don't know <laughs> so awesome though damn clint eastwood was hot back in the day the original title is the good, the, the bad, bad, the ugly, and the and ugly. The, yeah, I think I've heard of it, but I've never seen it. That's a very different title, though. I'm curious. Yeah. Like, that's interesting. <laughs> okay, we have two more. I want to go quickly through those. They are a little funny. I have not heard about these movies. They're supposed to be very sh crappy movies, but <laughs> the titles are so stupid. So the first one is, it sounds like a porn in German. Wilde high school teens kommen gleich zur Sache. Wilde high school teens mm -hmm. kommen? Exactly. Does it translates to wild high school teens immediately go down to business? It does sound like a porno. <laughs> yeah, it does. Who comes up with those title names? Wild high school teens immediately go down to business. That's what we call that movie in Germany. And um, I think it's from that American Pie period. A little later, I wanted to. It looks like. I that wanted cover. to benefit from that, and the original title was just hooking up. I've never heard of that. I just thought the title is so funny, hooking up. What do we do with that in German? And they come with, up with that mm. long ass title. Okay, and last one, another one. Where Germany just thought, hey, we just use an English title, but a different one. And they just called it Big Fat Important Movie. <laughs> but I feel like that's like every restaurant. The best pizza, the best pasta in the world. Big okay. Fat Important Movie. That's the movie poster. Big fat important movie. That's the German title. The original title was An American Carol. Like some German must have been like, we're, we're not translating it, but let's use a completely different gonna... English title. <laughs> this will bring up sales. Big fat important movie. And that's it. That's all we have for now. I really like that. That's so interesting. We've come across this so many times in just casual conversation where I'm like, have you seen this? And yeah. he's like, huh? And then I show him what I'm talking about. He's like, that's not what it's called. I, I think we watched No More Sex with the Ex like two weeks ago. 
it's forgetting Sarah Marshall. Forgetting Sarah Marshall. And I think that sparked the idea to yeah. do this, right? There's just little things like I was talking about Aladdin and how do you pronounce it? Aladdin. Yeah, it was little things like that that I'm like, well, what else is different? Aladdin and die, und die Wunderlampe and die. Anyway, if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. If you have more of these suggestions, if you came across any funky, funny movie titles, let us know. Also, let us know what you think is the most stupid translation of these movie titles. Yeah, they're pretty entertaining. <laughs> As always, thank you so much for watching and we'll see you next time. Bye. Bye.